crispy outside, chewy inside, and perfect for your next get together. I've got a delicious mochi muffin recipe for you. I'll teach you how, so stick around. Aloha my kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite Hawaiian and local recipes. I don't know about you, but I love me some mochi, all kinds of mochi, chichi dango, butter mochi, mochi waffles, all of those recipes I have in the description box below. You can check those out. But today we'll be making mochi muffins, crispy outside, chewy inside and perfect for your next get together. Let's make some. So you're going to start with the dry ingredients. You're going to get a bowl and you're going to put some mochiko flour. This is a sweet rice flour. It has to be mochiko. It cannot be regular flour. This will not work with all purpose or any other type of flour. It has to be the sweet rice flour. So, and then a little bit of brown sugar. Brown sugar adds some sweetness, molasses flavor, but it also adds some moisture and it gives it a little bit of a chew more to it. I mean, mochi is chewy as is, but so that's this one. And then a little bit of granulated sugar, a little bit of baking powder. Don't mind if you hear the children in the background, they're hanging out. My kids, my nephews, they're hanging out today. So if you hear them in the back, don't worry about it. <laughs> and a little bit of salt. Mix that up. Okay, let's set that aside. And now for the wet ingredients. I like to use coconut milk. Uh, you can find that at your local grocery store, most places. It gives it a nice flavor. If you don't wanna use coconut milk, I guess you could use regular milk. Um, it'll change the taste a little bit, but me yeah, should be fine. And then you'll want melted butter. Go ahead and add that in. Unsalted butter, yeah? We use salt in this mix here. So if you only have salted butter, then omit the salt that you added in the dry ingredients. A little bit of vanilla extract. This is homemade. If you want to make your own, check out the recipe card here or in the description box below. It's great for the holidays to gift. Normally I crack these into a separate, but I already stacked them all over there. So we're just going to crack it in here and hope that these eggs are great. One. Only because sometimes you get an egg that's yucky inside and you don't want to waste the whole batter that you just made because you have a dud egg, you know what I mean? So that's why I usually crack it into another one. But I stacked it all already over there. And you'll just want to whisk the egg into the milk and butter mixture like this. Once that's well incorporated, then you're going to mix the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Just pour it on in like so. So mochi, it's not Hawaiian, although a lot of people think like butter mochi is Hawaiian. It's not truly Hawaiian. It is definitely a Hawaii staple, like a local dish. But mochi actually came from Japan. The Japanese came to Hawaii to work on the plantations and brought with them a lot of their culture, traditions, and of course, yummy food, right? And so some of the things that we make a lot is mochi. Mochi for Boys Day and Girls Day, for New Year's, and just because. Growing up, I used to love making chichidango style mochi. My dad loves butter mochi. That's his favorite. So it looks like that. It's a thinner batter. You're gonna take a muffin tin like this. Oh, sorry, that was quite loud. And some nonstick cooking spray. And you're gonna generous, bleh, generously spray every tin. You can use cupcake liners if you want, but I don't know. I like how it looks with the edge flat like this. And it gives it a like crispy edge when you do it like that. The best way I find is, ah, I was doing so well remembering everything. Hold on, let me get something. <laughs> a cookie scoop. I don't know where my bigger scoop is. Normally the bigger size one works great, but this will do. You'll just scoop. You can use a measuring cup. That's actually probably better than this small one. And you'll wanna fill it about three fourths of the way full. It will rise a little. It won't rise as much as your classic muffin, like puff up and go over, but it will. I got a better idea, but let's just use the measuring cup. It's about a fourth of a cup, maybe a little bit less. 
So this recipe will make about 15 to 18 muffins. So I have one tray here. I'll fill the other one. We'll put this in the oven at 350 for 45, 50 minutes or so. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So yummy. Be right back. And when it's done, it'll look like this. Let it cool down and you've got yourself some delicious mochi muffins. If you like this recipe and you want to see more mochi recipes, then check out this video here. And until next time, ahoy ho!